it started out as pride coming in and I thought everything would be okay. I was totally fine with them having and doing what they wanted under the laws. And it ended with a rainbow room where eight to 12 year old kids were given butt plugs and dildos and trained. They just got a city grant for $650,000 to be able to do more training on the children. It was horrendous. I have asked my friends there what if it's getting any better, every single one of them are leaving, and it is a very good tax base. These conservatives are good tax base people. It was absolutely horrible to watch. You think that you're doing things based on laws, but you are doing things and you are letting Satan in. He will not take an inch. I promise you, Thank he you will take comments. everything and it Next, will not stop. Please. It doesn't stop. This is a scary event that's going on in this suburb uh, near Nashville, Tennessee. Folks coming out, they're concerned about what's going on in their community, and there's some rainbow room with butt plugs and dildos. I, I apologize for not having uh, the reality behind that situation that's happening, but apparently this lady was there, and she couldn't do anything about it because, you know, you did the, uh, the LGBTQ mafia was standing at the front with AK-47s, and they were stopping anyone else from coming in. They were letting the kids in, though. These are the cartoonish scenarios that these folks are putting together. This town is called Franklin, and it's been hosting a Pride Festival for the past two years. For the past two years. But this year, there's a bunch of issues going on. I wonder what has people now suddenly thinking about Pride events when two years ago they weren't thinking about Pride events. Could it be politics? Here's more people that were fooled by these politicians that told them to say things like this. I don't want to see a guy twerking in front of me. I'm 60 years old. Has nothing to do with my kids. I don't want to see it. So I don't care who you date. This is about opposing a very dark political movement. Find a private venue or a safe space that you say you desire. You can go to the library. You can go to my church. I don't care. Just stay out of the public venues with what you're trying to advertise. God's word is clear that homosexuality is a sin. Do we or do we not want sex on display in a public park here in Franklin, Tennessee? It's only a matter of time before it turns out into what you would see in other major cities. We are at an inflection point in this city's history and in this nation's history where pronouns are being shoved down our throats. I'm sure you don't want to see me in a bondage gear outfit. Honestly, bro, I don't care what you wear. You can do whatever you want. The problem is, is you don't want anyone else to do whatever they want. Uh, so the city of Franklin, by the way, they very narrowly pushed by and allowed this Pride event to then happen. Uh, so really fast, uh, the city of Franklin voted to allow this annual Pride festival to occur in town for this particular year, despite all of these things that are going on. And this comes after they decided to wait to vote on this, quote, community decency policy for another few weeks. So it buys them a little more time. Uh, and this result came after they was tied four to four. And then this mayor, Ken Moore, pictured here, uh, decided to go ahead and break the tie. Look at that evil guy. <laughs> He's ready. God. Okay, come on. Um, so he said he proved the permit and he warned those putting on the fest will still be under a microscope, but ultimately he said he wants to unite the community. So despite even his vote to break the tie and allow this to happen, he still wants to let everyone know we're going to be watching you. Still this threat of we're going to be watching you. You never know what else we may allow. We just uh, did a story a minute ago about how cops stood by and watched folks harass someone at their house. We've seen cops stand by and watch uh, other folks harass drag shows or pride events and go, what can we do about it? We're just here to escort folks to make sure they get right in front of your faces and wave their guns at you and call you all kinds of names and then threaten to kill you. We're just here to make sure things go smoothly. But it's still going to happen. And really fast, this last image of uh, what it actually may look like, this is the scary uh, event that just might enter your neighborhood once. And next you know, you'll see red right next to orange and then followed by yellow. <laughs> Scary stuff, Adrian. Yes, you know, these people can't stand any hint of color and I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> but you know, the reality is that these people are operating under this homophobic ideology, this transphobic, queerphobic ideology. It's this thought that anything that's not cis or het is sexually deviant in some way. And it's just completely and totally ignorant. And when these people are so focused on the queer community and um, kind of assigning them this whole demonic, satanic label, uh, you know what they're not doing is paying attention to the individuals in their community who are 
are actually the ones out there uh, molesting and sexually abusing children. That woman needs to take a good look at her church, as it's probably far likely that more likely that their children will be abused there in that establishment and more than they would be at any kind of pride parade. It's like, get out of here. It's so incredibly, um, it's just, it's sad and it's pathetic, especially when we know what stats look like. We know who the deviants often are. And yet those individuals go unchecked so often because we have this whole, you know, uh, cis het Christian white America out here pointing fingers at the queer community saying you're bad and you're going to attack my children when there's nothing really out there supporting those facts. Absolutely nothing. And when you hit them with the real reality of the entire situation, it's, oh, well, you know, um, actually, I've, I, I'm actually trying to remember some of the things people have said in response to the litany of posts and arguments that talk about how much uh, uh, religious leaders do this to folks and just regular guys walking down the street and how they're advocating for it. In Missouri, there's arguing of whether or not a 12 year old can be married off. And one of these elected representatives straight up said, yo, I know a 12 year old that was married off and she's still married. Like that's a success story. They're open about it, but then it will turn around and, and legislate or introduce the next bill saying, we need to stop groomers coming for our kids. It's, you can't make it up. You can't make it up.